I uh, wanted to talk about this section just a little bit. <laughs> What we've been seeing uh, one second ago was the use of the uh, camera to frame in spatial terms, you see. Uh, what we're getting now, what we're beginning to deal with, well, we're really moving away from that, although not out of relationship to it, uh, actually. This is uh, what I call a uh, temporal framing, you see, and using uh, the time element, actually, to create a frame in which we can see the relationship between the object and the field. Um, uh, strictly speaking, that really isn't true. Uh, that the frame in the object and field as much as it provides a context for a relationship to happen. Um, the importance of this, I thought, and the thing that I really wanted to get to uh, tonight was, uh, well, a friend of mine recently, uh, her, her cat died, and she was very broken up about it, and she felt that she no longer had a relationship, that her relationship with the cat had actually ended. And she was looking at some photographs, uh, uh, pictures of herself and the cat, and she realized that there was still, um, you know, if we were to look at a model, so to speak, of this whole situation, one of the things that we would want to use in, in that model is uh, something that uh, Mr. Fuller talked about at one point in time, where they've got lines or forming junctures that call windows in through space and therefore in through time. And it's that kind of relationship that, well, if you realize that reality, so to speak, is not really a series of continuous moments as much as it is a fragmentation of, I mean, you're here now, right? I mean, listening to some of what I'm saying anyway, and watching the video, and you're thinking of other things, obviously. I mean, where you've been, where you're 